like the week before when I like the week before I uh, I played them uh, my following time like after I had like gone home and like labbed all the shit to do against Cloud I played them the following week and like double three stocked them because I like learned the matchup and I like learned how the how to play Cloud how to play as him and how to play against him. Oh, this match is smooth. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted. You know what I found out as well that's really funny? Like, I found this out on accident, but Cloud gets a limit for hitting crafting table. Also wait, uh, obviously you can't play now, or you can't type it now, but Wes, were you the one who, if you were the one who like, was asking about like, let's and Pyra, like let me know, cause I can like, definitely give you pointers if like, I'm playing you like right now. That was good, that was clean, I like that a lot. I actually didn't find out. That's a good question, though. He was like, I think I want him. <laughs> Why does she reach so high up? <laughs> yeah, no, that two frame is insane. Alright, you're the car. So the big thing that I noticed right there in, in the, those last few interactions uh, was you kind of preemptively swing a lot when like you can swing on reaction. So like the reason you were like hitting it by like those up tilts was because I, I I made a habit of jumping above above you. But like <gasps> Kaz, thank you for the sub. Okay. Thank you so much Kaz for the sub. I love you. You're the best. Um But if you wait for me to do something off the ledge and you just kind of like let yourself react to it, then you'll be fine. That's fair, I know a lot of people do that. That was an incredible catch.
just like right there to get to see how you like like you're you still got me all, oh shit I that. you still got me to ledge there but like did you notice how i was able to like just chill in the corner and not feel pressured at all because you were like just like kind of like throwing stuff out and retreating like that's the that's the stuff i'm talking about It's just a trick. No, no, I want him. Like, see, that was a lot better. Instant adult. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Time to win. Fox, oh, ready? Guys, I love you. My go I miss you by the way. Hope you're doing well. Left her, yes. Off of a light interaction. I think I'm dead. No, I'm insane. Bro, what the fuck? They... I'm terrified. Oh my god, that character just does shit. What the fuck? Fucking That's terrifying. So like Mithra just does it on your shield a lot and you're like you're like, oh god, I can't do anything about this, and then like Pyrid does it on your shield and you're like, oh shit, I can no longer shield. What the fuck? That was terrifying. I didn't know how to get around that. Alright, it is. Yeah, no, you can. I've, I've done down tilt into like charge down smash to break shields as pirates. Really funny. I'm gonna sit cross leg it again. There we go. Three, two, one, go! No, her kill, her kill power is actually absurd. Carrier's ability to set up any kills is like I can't say. You gotta cover down there more. Yeah. 
Because Messler do be enjoying uh, stage control. That's so tragic. <laughs> that option is so funny. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I think the thing is, is that I can kind of agree to that. I like I can agree with them not having a lot of cheese. Because the thing is, is that pirate at the at the bare minimum is incredibly consistent. If I think of like wing, right? Wing is not something you consistently have. Arsene, not something you consistently have. Both very good mechanics. But they're inconsistent. Whereas with Pyra and Mithra, they're just a character. They are each two characters that are both consistent in their own right that can do some crazy shit. Oh yeah, that's 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 the problem. Like people people like kinda like focus on just like thinking about how Pyra is the jank factor out of ages, which is true, but people don't also realize how fucked up Mithra is.
up that way. If I down it, if, if, if that downer hit, oh, I was dead. You know what's really funny, Din, so you meant- Okay, let me read this out loud. You know what'd be funny? A move that looks like a projectile, but isn't actually a projectile, so it ignores reflectors, and a downbeat that's just deep breathing, but you get what is basically a turbo mode as well as a speed increase. You literally just described Joker, like, almost down to a T. And I think that's beautiful. That was DBLC, by the way, yes. The only thing is that last part, which uh, you described Wing. It's kind of sad, but honestly, I'll, I'll be the first to say it. Joker and Sephiroth, fucking cheating ass characters. Like, Sephiroth, like, deadass just turns into god for half the game. I'll wait. I'd say so. I think he's like one of those characters where he fucking needs something, but like anything that would make him good would make him too good. Like, Doc with the speed increase would become top tier. Deadass, I think like buff up B distance and that character becomes like not dog shit. No, that's cap. That is absolutely cap. About Pirate Air. You you can make that shit so safe. It's unbelievable. The problem is that people do what he does with there, where you fade in with it. If you fade out with it, you can still get up smash, still get forward air. I've seen people- I- I myself have done fucking down air and a dash attack, that shit's broken. Also goddamn, that was wild. What? <laughs> oh my god, I had to fucking sneeze, but Shadow Flare was on, I wanna get cool shit. So tragic. <laughs> that is so fucking tragic. <laughs> Rob is top five. I don't care what anyone says. That character is so fucking broken. How are you a heavy? How are you a heavy that is like literally nearly impossible to hit? Not top one. 
peak is top one. My top five. Oh god, I'm gonna get fucking slandered for this shit. But I think ahead. I'm like. I don't even think it's top three. I think it's top five, not top three. I think if I had to order three of those right now. Peak is best in the game, undisputed. Aegis is second. Joker's third. Rob is fourth. And then sixth is a tie. Okay, I'm gonna get fucking flamed for this. I'm gonna get flamed for this, you ready? Fifth, in my opinion, can go to either Greninja, Shulk, or Sheik. I think Sonic is another contender. I'm waiting for chat to just start saying shit. But I'm completely dead ass right now. I have not shared my top five, like my, my genuine top five with anyone. Like, I think Greninja is fucking broken. I think Sheik is also really fucked up. I think Diddy is also potentially top 5. I wouldn't put him there yet, but I think he has a shot. Oh, Jesus. But I think Diddy, like, also, as his meta develops, is looking like more and more of a top 5 threat. I think the thing is that Diddy also, like, is one of those characters where you, like, you could get, like, just any secondary, like, because, like, you look at the Joker, I think Joker has some really shit matchups. Joker Rob, not fun. Joker Diddy, looking less and less fun. Joker Pikachu, oh my god, help. I think Diddy's crazy. I do think he has some like really difficult matchups though. Like Pac-Man, fuck that matchup. Second for Joker. Um, it's tough to say. I'm thinking Aegis probably. Aegis, maybe, maybe Mario. I 
I think Game & Watch is also another good one. Like, Joker Game & Watch? Low-key, not bad. I miss. Fuck. How does Aegis do the first peak? I think even. Probably. I think even. Maybe slight, slight Aegis. Marth high tier? That's a fair point. I think Marth's high mid, low high. I think Marth is already stuck down. Top tier is too far. I think a character is way too inconsistent to be top tier. Greninja Game & Watch? <laughs> you lose no matchups. Bro, you lose no matchups. <laughs> Can you steal the, the VOD? Hell yeah, dude. I'm fine with that. Me giving resources to my community to help them improve? No, that's not me. I don't do that. Oh, really? Oh shit, they bought a link. These boys got a link. I just put that beat out Martha B. I don't know why they're going for so much. This is scary. I don't know why they're going for so much uh, up there. It's not there. I was like, yeah, maybe maybe it'll like snap or maybe it'll go through ledge and I'll get the sour spot. Like what the fuck was that? Ready? 
Alright, sounds good, Waddles. You can definitely down tilt her, but it's just like... I feel like it's inconsistent, and challenging the hitbox can be really annoying. Then that's literally what he does in melee. He does that in a, in a lot of games, honestly. And the full stage crab. I don't know why he's going for that up there, because he's could he could be getting the same damage. And put me to ledge. He goes for down there stuff. Oh, I didn't even do that. I thought that was gonna be attack. I tried doing like the thing where you like neutral air dodge about the ground and then tuck behind. Wait, I think I'll do I'll do like one or two more. I'm gonna go with AO, I guess. Because I'm getting kind of tired. Oh shit. The top tier changing factor for Marth. Um more hit stun on Sire Spots. Like, make his Sire Spots not dog shit. Ready? A just wants this free. This, a, just, a just absolutely wins this shit. <laughs> no, it's, it's so funny. Three. No, I didn't. I won't lie, though, the witch is kind of back.
No, Bayo's got some shit. Like, this character's got some fucked up shit. <laughs> to be fair, a lot of the stuff I was hitting you with was, like, unavoidable. Like, the, the down tilt, drag down, down tilt is true. And very few Bayos go for that shit. Ready? Like, so, there is so few... I get it, I get it, you know, because who taught it to you? Because who taught it to you, Lofter? You're my son! <laughs> Three, two, one, She's so hard. Also, the Marnie theme to end the stream, hell yes. Talking Smash kind of thing, like just relax. Thank you, Unorthodox Salad, for the follow. Oh, no, okay. Marty's adorable, I fucking love that character. Real ones remember the Kamani Girlfriend Saga. Just need to be a golf bitch. The fuck is that noise? Thank you, Lopter, for the Prime sub. You're the best.
I could have heard smash that. Oh yeah. Smash for <laughs> Wait, I did the um No, I did the bullets to interrupt you out of shield. Like it was intentional. Oh shit, I got 13 subs now, damn. It would be really poggers if I got two more in the span of uh, the next. I'll do. I'll, I'll stream for 20 more minutes. It'd be really poggers if I got more subs in 20 minutes. That'd be really, really cool. Why did I go to replays? Why did I do that? I don't like how training mode is in the games and more section. That bothers me. Fresh setting. There it is. Here we go, this one. I'll let me, I guess. Alright, laughter. What am I labbing? Or, like, what character am I labbing on? Honestly, I can't really tell you just because I'm like trying to like get the chat and like look at the same time. Inkling? Okay. Um, I think the big thing that I noticed was like, I think you're way too willing to switch off of Pyra, or to switch all on to Pyra. I think I get more comfortable moving as Mithra, because I felt like you were just like, you were taking advantage of like how slow Pyra is. Oh yeah. I need the new training mode mod pack. Never mind. Because I got new triggers. Oh, I should show off my, my controller, actually. Yeah, I think it's a big thing as well. Right here. So, let me let me do this real quick, actually. I guess this one, yeah. Right. Ignore the mess in the back right now. Because we just got back from Riptide. But, um... That's nice, right? I'll, I'll put this on mic. You hear that? Like, and then there's this, you ready? That's Z, so that's like... Like, my, my L button literally, like, just does this. Hold on, let me... Tilt it this way. My L button... It's me pressing it, you ready? It only does that. That's crazy. You'll have 100% be hitting me up for magic questions? Yeah, that's fine. Um, no, I also lost her. I haven't updated the, um, training map hack yet. I forgot to do that. Loki, I'd be down to do a control ASMR stream. I'd be, like, way down for that. I'm just gonna go to bed, though. Because I'm tired as fuck. And I will lab tomorrow. So. Oh, well. I'm going to go to bed because Rachel's also been feeling kind of, kind of yuck. So, it's not COVID. We were thinking about, like, if it was COVID symptoms. But, um, it's it's nothing COVID-related. She's just kind of feeling sore, so... A little bit of a cold. So I'm gonna join her in bed right now. And then, uh, yeah. So, peace out. Good night, y'all.